Good morning, YouTube. I'm here. We're safe. Um, it was a hell of a shit show, I'll tell you that. We got a lot of damage here. Oh, thank goodness. I only sustained a little bit of siding. Got ripped off, but that's replaceable. That's not a big deal. Trailer across the street from me had his whole roof ripped off. Couple, couple down up the road on the other side. Lost her entire. Trailer's pretty much just, it's just a disaster. It's gone. And then all the way up to the end of the road, light pole and a tree came down across that lady's trailer. So she's, she's without. And a lot of lanai's were ripped off in screen rooms and on this street. We were, we were very lucky, but the street behind me is, is demolished. It's, it's just demolished. I, I almost think that a tornado came through. But I'm not sure because of the way it's like two trailers and then nothing and then two, tra two three trailers and then nothing, you know. But this street behind me was just, oh, streets, both sides of the road, demolished. But I'm here. We got power back on last night about... I don't know, two, three o'clock in the afternoon after five, that was our fifth day. So not quite five days, no power, but close. But I was lucky because my friend Oaken, she bought me a thermos of coffee every morning because she was on the other side of town and they had gotten their power back first because the hospital's right behind her, her apartment building. so. They had power restored. So she brought me coffee every morning. Bless her little heart. And uh, she brought, it was a, one of those big carafes so that my grandson and I could each have two cups of coffee a piece. God send, we had no water. We had no power. I had no cell phone service. So we was just without, but we did have a grill. So we could cook, and uh, we had put a bucket out. Hi, Abby. <laughs> we had put a trash barrel out to collect rainwater for whatever we needed to do with that. But I had drawn up a lot of water, so we had we had plenty of drinking water for the animals and for us. And I froze up containers and put in the freezer packed around my meat so that we didn't lose that thank goodness everything in the refrigerator though has to go that got all warm and I got dishes up to my neck that need to be washed but the first thing we did was get in the shower hot shower and just scrubbed because five days of just washing up with cold water was not cutting it then I cooked the meal real meal meat potatoes and vegetables called that then we just called it bedtime because we hadn't been sleeping because it was so hot we had no air no fans no just what whatever little bit of breeze we'd get through the windows so that was that <laughs> but we're back i got my coffee and you're all welcome come in sit down i have pot brewed a whole pot why not go in the house and check on Ralph and make sure she's okay? It is hot. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. I haven't got anything to show you because there was no mail. So I didn't get no team room. We didn't have any power, so I couldn't make anything. I had my knitting machine, but it was dark in here because it wasn't a lot of sun, you know. So it was just daylight. And it wasn't coming in, so like it is now. Now it's nice and bright in here. So I couldn't do that. Couldn't diamond paint because I have to use the light board. And there was no power. And I didn't want to mess with epoxy because I had no way to clean it up. So this is it. It got me. But I just want to let you know that we're all okay. Animals are fine. 
We sustained minimal damage to our trailer, but the rest of the, I don't know. I feel so bad. People are, they're not going to be able to save them. They just, you know, they just junk. And the flooding's gone down and grocery stores open. I don't know about gas. I haven't been out, but there was a lot of lines Saturday. My grandson went, went out to my son to a store and the roads are flooded. He had to go around Timbuktu to get there. It's only a mile up, up mile, 1.9 miles up the road, and he had to go five miles around to get to him, and then back to the town over, just to get to a grocery store, get water and ice. He tried to get gas, but the lines were uh, backed right up, up 301. It was just, he said it was just as far as you could see, waiting to get into that one gas station that still had some gas. Everybody else had the red bags on their pumps. So, it was a stressful five days. We, we did the best we could. We sat here and talked. Of course, we had a lot of memories to discuss because he basically grew up with me, so we have, we have a lot of memories we discussed. And then we sat here and played uh, solitaire war. <laughs> he played on one side table and I played on the other side table. And we used it like a competition, see who, how many you could win, how many you lost. I won! <laughs> I don't play solitaire very often. But I lost four and won, won one, and he, he lost them all, so. We did that, and neighbors, a lot of neighbors visited because everybody was like bored, twiddling their thumbs, tired of sitting in the complete quiet. So they come here in and out, in and out the whole five days. We had people here and uh, asking if there was anything we needed. We're fine because I'm smart and I get, I get it up drinking water and I made sure we had enough bread and hot dogs, you know, to grill. So. Otherwise than that, I don't got a whole lot to say. <laughs> Abby's just coming in from her walk. And uh, I will try to do something, get something done today so I have a uh, demonstration video or maybe my team will come today, I don't know. But it's one check in, let you know. So y'all be safe if you were in this and if you got damage, femurs is helping. Um, they are offering up to $750, depending on the size of your family, of food assistance to replace what you lost. So that's a plus. And be safe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.